welcome to bsc statistics students in this class i explain two reproduction rates one grr that is gross reproduction rate and the second one nrr net reproduction rate in which what is the crucial point the crucial point is we want to study the growth rate of the population for this we have to consider the sex of the newly born children since ultimately the female births who are potential future mothers and this results in increasing the population the increase of the population depends on future mothers which uh, in which uh, the male baby and female baby sex wise if you consider the female baby ultimately female births or female babies who are potential future mothers therefore which uh, leads to which involves in the increasing of the increasing of the population increasing the population in the part of increasing the population it involves therefore we have to consider the sex of the newly born children that is you have to remember the sex of the newly born children therefore the gross reproduction rate consists this factor that is the uh, important factor uh, we we have considered and measures the population growth so therefore it involves the growth of the population it increases uh, the population therefore we are considering in grr the one such factor is nothing but the sex of the newly born children that's very very important that the gross reproduction rate is defined as sum of the age specific fertility rates computed from female births for each year in the reproductive period reproductive period means child bearing age group that is uh, 15 to 49 lambda 1 to lambda 2 and it is given by so it is uh, defined as grr is defined as sum of the age specific fertility rates so it is uh, defined as grr is equal to summation lambda 1 to lambda 2 fbx by fpx into k annually we calculate this fix summation simply summation lambda 1 to lambda 2 fix it is nothing but grr gross reproduction rate right so therefore what is fix the annual age specific fertility rate annual age specific fertility rate it is going to be uh, considered as female age specific fertility rate annually x to x plus 1 x plus 1 to x plus 2 like that so the formula is fbx by fbx into k what is fbx number of female births the women of the age x in the given region during the given time period number of female births in the age group x to x plus 1 fpx total female population in the age group x to x plus 1 in a given region during a given time period t so this is what fpx fpx is female births fpx is female population so lambda 1 lambda 2 which are usually considered as 15 and 49 uh, child bearing age group reproductive age group and therefore now grr is going to be calculated for summation lambda 1 to lambda 2 n into f n i x for different age groups you have calculated grr also calculated like this uh, by using this formula summation lambda 1 to lambda 2 n into f n i x female age specific fertility rate in the age group x to x plus n if if you calculate annually we use this formula if you calculate for different age groups for five years every five years uh, like that if you calculate then we have to use n into f n i x so it is nothing but lambda summation lambda 1 to lambda 2 n into f n b x divided by f n p x into k what is f n b x it is nothing but the 
female births in the age group x to x plus n f n p x it is nothing but total female population in the age group x to x plus n so this is all this is another formula for grr grr formula right these are the two formulas hope you understand these are the two formulas now for a quinquennial data another formula i am giving for quinquennial data you see here this is what uh, grr 5 into summation lambda into lambda 2 f 5 i x it is nothing but the formula for grr for quinquennial data okay right grr is also calculated by some another formula it is grr is equal to number of female births by total number of births into tfr total fertility rate it is another formula usually grr it is ranges from 0 to 5 per annum okay right the merits of grr we see the what are the merits and demerits of grr the grr is useful for comparing the fertility in different regions and in the same region at different time periods okay it is useful for comparison in different regions and grr exhibits the growth rate at which the mothers would be replaced by daughters so therefore it is a growth rate a demerits of grr the main drawback of grr is that it does not consider the fact that newly born female babies may die before reaching the reproductive age group that is very important it only consider newly born children the female baby newly born children among which female baby the sex of the newly born children that is particularly female but it is not considering the factor of mortality pattern of any particular female may not survive up to the age group 15 if the female baby not enters into the age group 15 to 49 then they are not uh, able to produce reproduce the children so therefore mortality pattern is also going to be considered but it fails grr fails in that direction in that factor this is a serious drawback since all the female babies may not survive till the end of the child bearing age group that is very very important so therefore it is the demerit or drawback of this particular grr now come to that nrr net reproduction rate hope you understand this measure definitely uh, overcome the drawback or uh, it, it, it take into consideration of that particular drawback. So, therefore, uh, it fulfills that particular uh, aspect. Now, you see here, the main limitation of GRR is that it completely ignores the current mortality. That is the terminology. The current mortality and based on only current fertility. It consider, GRR consider only current fertility, but not consider current mortality. Right. Therefore, Therefore, the net reproduction rate is simply the gross reproduction rate adjusted with effects of mortality. It adjusts the effect of the mortality only in the GRR. That is only the NRR. Okay. According to Benjamin, one particular prominent uh, vital statistics, studied vital statistics and uh, uh, specified many particular uh, uh, specifications. Uh, and uh, given some particular theory, <coughs> I am sorry, NRR measures uh, the extent to which uh, the mothers produce female infants who survive to replace them. That is what NRR do. It, it measures, NRR does, it measures the extent to which a generation of girl babies survive to reproduce themselves as they pass through the child bearing age group that is very 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 important thing it is it was specified by benjamin right so to, now you see that this is what uh, uh, simply to specify nrr take into a consideration of the current uh, mortality as well include it also includes current fertility and also includes current mortality that is only the uh, additional fact of the grr additional factor consideration for grr the nrr is going to be uh, uh, overcome this particular uh, drawback right so the, to calculate uh, 
see the calculate nrr what we have to consider we consider fl not this is called female uh, cohort cohort means uh, it refers right table and uh, initial population cohort means initial population initial female population in that particular region right and uh, n f l x you see that terminology here n f l x or f n l x this is what f n l x divided by f l not what is f n l x it is nothing but number of years lived aggregate by female cohort and initially some particular female population is there in a particular region we have considered it is f l not initial cohort now we have to consider n uh, f n l x f n l x it is nothing but the female uh, number of persons lived aggregate from the cohort and so that divided by f l not f l not is nothing but cohort initial female persons this is the number of years lived aggregate how many number of years lived aggregate by female persons into f n b x that is uh, number of female births in the age group x to x plus n this is in the age this is also in the age group x to x plus 1 x plus n this is uh, female cohort initial population of the female initial female population right now based on this notation now we calculate first of all the survival factor you see here what is survival factor or survival rate it is going to be calculated n f n p n pi x f n pi x it is called survival rate it is going to be calculated by f n l x divided by f l not this is cohort this is number of years aggregate lived by female in the age group x to x plus n so that we we get the survival rate rate of survival so which means uh, uh, it includes the mortality pattern mortality conditions some particular mortality rate is also going to be uh, deduced and then survival rate is going to be calculated that is the how many female persons are survived or proportionate female persons are survived up to the age group child bearing age group that is what uh, our discussion survival rate means survived in the age group 15 to 49 that is to reproduce the children that the survival rate is going to be calculated for that purpose so the probability of survival this is nothing but the probability of survival survival rate of the female in the age group x to x plus n we have calculated based on this uh, i'll tell you the formula of nrr net reproduction rate is going to be calculated by k into summation x n into fn bx divided by fn px into fn pi x what is fn bx number of live births female births in the age group x to x plus n what is fn px it is of total female population in the age group x to x plus n what is fn pi x it is survival rate in the age group x to x plus n if you multiply these these three divide divide these two particular values and multiply and then multiply with n and with summation and k multiply with k it is nothing but nrr the formula of nrr net reproduction rate is nothing but k into summation x n into fn bx divided by fn px into fn pi x this is what nrr net reproduction rate usually nrr is less than or equal to grr that is only the one particular uh, uh, point I, i want to specify right so this is what uh, the two particular important measures grr and nrr gross reproduction rate and net reproduction rate gross reproduction rate grr does not consider current mortality and uh, only current uh, fertility whereas nrr takes uh, both the factors into account the one is uh, current fertility and the other one is current mortality both factors are considered in nrr and so that uh, growth rate is calculated for uh, population 
how what is the growth rate of the population it is going to be calculated in the grr and nrr as well thank you